गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द टॉपिक टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दर्पज ट्रेनिंग इज ऑफ फॉलोइंग टाइप्स नंबर वन इज इंडक्शन और ओरिएंटेशन ट्रेनिंग इंडक्शन और ओरिएंटेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एंड फेमिलराइजिंग न्यू एम्प्लॉज टू दर्गेनाइजेशन सो दैट दे मे एडजस्ट क्विकली एंड इजिली इन देर न्यू एनवायरमेंट नेक्स्ट इज जॉब ट्रेनिंग It is not always possible to recruit and select trained employees. When persons without any training and job experience are selected, they require some training to perform their job well. Such training is called job training, and it is given to make the employees knowledgeable and skilled in performing a specific job. Now, next is remedial training. This type of training is designed to correct the mistakes and shortcomings in the work behavior and job. performance of employees some employees might have picked up faulty ways of doing work remedial training is provided to remove these defect and to teach the right methods of doing the job now next is safety training the purpose of safety training is to create safety consciousness and to teach the use of safety devices so as to prevent and minimize accident and injuries now next is promotional training When persons working at lower level are promoted they need training in the performance of higher jobs promotional training involves preparing employees for higher positions employees with adequate potential are given training to fill vacancies at higher levels promotional training facilitates success in planning and career development now next is refresher training when existing work method and techniques become obsolete employees have to be trained in the use of new methods and techniques refresher training is provided to update the knowledge and skills of employees it helps to refresh the job knowledge and make employees efficient in the use of new technology rapid advancements in technology have increased the need for refresher training so these were the different types of training now let us see the distinction between recruitment and selection on the basis of meaning recruitment is searching prospective employees and stimulating them to apply for jobs on the other hand selection is choosing the candidate having necessary qualifications on the basis of nature recruitment is positive process on the other hand selection is negative process on the basis of aim in recruitment the aim is to create a large pool of candidates on the other hand In selection the aim is to eliminate all unsuitable candidates on the basis of number in recruitment there is no re restriction upon the number of candidates on the other hand in selection only a limited number of candidates are selected now on the basis of order recruitment is done prior to selection on the other hand selection is done only after recruitment these were the difference between recruitment and selection only this much is for today's video students again we will meet in the next video till then bye keep on watching the videos and read the chapter properly stay home stay safe